Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. Sharice is off tonight. A pair of West Bank lawmakers are now demanding greater transparency and accountability from the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. They're urging the JPSO to require body cameras for deputies, and Paul Murphy reports it's something Sheriff Joe Lapinto has steadfastly and repeatedly refused to do. No justice! Protests in the wake of George Floyd's killing at the hands of Minneapolis police have shined a national spotlight on police brutality and systemic racism people of color have been rallying against for generations. Two days after Floyd's death, Modesto Reyes was shot and killed by Jefferson Parish Sheriff's deputies following a chase in Morero. The JPSO says Reyes pointed a gun at deputies before one officer shot him. Reyes's family and friends don't believe that's what happened and say he isn't the type of person who would engage in such behavior. Unlike New Orleans police officers and Louisiana state troopers, JPSO deputies don't wear body cameras. To the death of um, Modesto Reyes, um, if we had body cameras, you know, during that chase, we would know exactly what happened. We would know what, what the camera saw. Whether the shooting was justified or not, uh, if we had had the use of body worn cameras, you can simply go to the tape. You know, it's recorded. Rodney Lyons and Kyle Green Jr. both represent the West Bank of Jefferson Parish in the state legislature. Recently, Green sent an open letter to Sheriff Joe Lapinto, strongly urging his department to use body cameras. You know, in my letter, I detailed an experience of one of my family members uh, where they were shot and killed by a law enforcement agency on the West Bank. You know, um, that trauma is passed on from generations to generations. Representative Lyons is sponsoring a House resolution asking the JPSO to implement a body camera program. And in the light of what's going on now in this country, it's a statement to say here, we're gonna show you how well we do our jobs. We're gonna show you how we protect you. We're gonna show you the integrity of this department. A JPSO spokesman told me they are not commenting on body cameras. Two years ago, the sheriff said he's not opposed to them, but for now, they are too expensive. The amount of calls that we do compared to the, the amount of instances that I'd love to have cameras for uh, becomes cost prohibited. Neither state rep wanted to say what signals it would send if the JPSO does not adopt a body camera program, but they maintain the cameras would be a step in the right direction and add a layer of transparency many have been longing for. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. An eight second video of the Reyes shooting was captured on a stun gun and shown to reporters. The clip shows a man face down who then rolls over with an object in his hand before shots are fired. Deputies say that object was one of two guns Reyes possessed.